so I've not prepared anything or anything like that um, I'm just going to speak from my heart about what's happened to me personally. So I wanted to make a video for people who've lost a baby or a child or you know even anyone close to them. Um, grief is its such a hard awful thing that no one should have to go through it, especially when it's a child but what I can tell you is that one day it is going to get easier and I know you might not think that now and it, it, it is for a long long time you're going to feel really 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 sad and that's that's the truth it's not something that just that you just have to go through it but what I will say is so I work as an astrologer and um, when I started looking into astrology what I found is in, in my birth chart so I, I was always into astrology but when I had my son um, and he died um, I, I just decided I was going to go and make all my dreams come true and I now work as a psychic and an astrologer and a psychotherapist as well and this this is my shop uh, in Sheffield so I saw in my birth chart that my that I would lose a child and I did I did so what I will say to you is it might seem really really unfair what's happened to you but certain things are meant to be and what's happened to you is awful and it is but honestly I know it's weird but you have to see it as a gift because it is a gift like so many things are predestined in this in this world and in this life and I think life and death is one of those things and I think that once you can accept that and find meaning in what's happened to you, which there is meaning in it, you know, I help people now all the time, nothing scares me, I can go head first into anything and I just remember that what I, whatever I have to go through to get there, it will never be as bad as what that was. And that's what I want you to feel like, I want you to feel like like the, what's happened to you is is the, there's a reason for it it's not you know you know it, it was nothing you did you cannot blame yourself these things are just you know they just happen and usually it's because i think that god has however you see god or the universe or however you want to see it has a plan and when you are meant for big things, you have to go through stuff to, that makes you stronger. And the thing is, grief can be really transforming. It can be really life-changing if you let it. So I really hope you look at it like that because it has changed my life and it is very hard and I, and I must admit, like, I never used to, I, I, I have suffered a lot with depression since, on and off, you know, um, and it's something I have to work on, and I do, and, but I have such a happy life, and the truth is, you know, it's, it takes a long time to overcome, you know, these, these things, um, but you will overcome it, and, it will take a long time. What I would say is never ever give yourself the, the don't expect to, to go on normally f straight away because that grief has to come out. You have to feel it. So please feel it. You know, don't numb yourself with, with 
with anything like you know like with alcohol or drugs or anything like that you know let that person who you loved let them have that grief from you and then don't feel don't, but don't dwell in it you know you have to don't feel guilty for having fun moving on and enjoying your life yes they deserve to be grieved for but they wouldn't want you to have be unhappy for the rest of your life you know and you know you you, you just you have to be very easy on yourself and not beat yourself up it's it is hard when when you grieve you just want to cut everyone off and I was so nasty to my family um, I don't even know how, how my mum is even speaking to me still to be honest after how nasty I was so don't feel bad the people who love you will see your pain they'll know who you really are and they will be there for you and I'll tell you one thing when you go through these things you will see who is important to you and that is a beautiful gift in itself it will bring your family together it will bring you know your real friends to you my circle has got a lot smaller since losing a child and you know what it's not it's a good thing I have achieved so much uh, once I'd grieved it took me about two years I think to, 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 to get it really properly out of my system and then after that I, I I went on to achieve so much um, you know it really made me address a lot of issues that I had um, and I just thought you know what I can overcome these now because I've overcome this so yeah, and, and, and it's given me so much strength. I've done things I never thought I would do. Um, so I really hope that you just understand it's going to take a long time for you to feel normal. Understand that grief is is very tough. It's, it's, it's going to be very hard. And, you know, um, sometimes it can make a relationship stronger. Sometimes it can, can break one up that needs to be broken up because that person wasn't ever there or they were, you know, every situation is different. Um, but what I will say is you, you have the strength to, to overcome this, you do. And you will. And you will get through it. And it might not feel like that at the moment, but you will. I promise you will. And it does eventually get easier. Um, I think you have to do as much as you can to make yourself feel good exercise, <clears throat> you know, eat healthy but if, if they're the only things that you can do then fine if you need to take time off work and, and you can um, you know, if you have a partner um, but even if, you know, you it, it, I, I went back to work too soon I think and I think I pushed myself too hard so just be kind to yourself. It's a massive, massive thing that you're going through, that you've gone through. And if it's someone who you know, just be very, very, very forgiving with them. Because they need that. They really need that. They need you to be... Just, just accept them. Um and what they're going through and they will eventually be back to their normal selves they're going to be very it depends on the person some people are more angry some people are more sad i got very angry but i that's what i that's my go-to emotion anyway like if i feel um anything it's usually anger first so just be easy on them be easy on yourself um and yeah just you know do your best to spend time with people who really care about you it really helps me going to a church you know having a spiritual family who really genuinely cared for me who who wanted to support me through that tough time excuse me um yeah so i wanted to put this this on for people who've lost a child because you guys are amazing like, um, it's the saddest and hardest thing that you will ever have to go through. Now you've been through this, 
Believe me, nothing ever will happen to you as bad as this. Trust me, this is the worst thing. So just know that you have been chosen for something very special and important and that they will always have a connection with you. My son communicates with me all the time. Um, I, I actually work as a psychic now. Sometimes I, I feel certain energies and, and you know some of my clients think that that I'm connecting with spirits. I, I honestly don't know what it is but I have had so much weird unexplainable stuff happen to me regarding my son uh, that you just cannot, there's no way it's a coincidence so just know, be open to their communication that can comfort you they, you will know when it's a genuine connection with them because you'll feel, it'll just, ooh, you know, that kind of thing. So just find, find comfort in, in, you know, knowing that I believe that there is 100% something after. I think our souls are eternal. And so that love is always there, you know. So, I just really want you to know that I think you're amazing, um, you are so strong, and seriously, um, you know, I, I'm on Instagram and stuff like that, um, I get a lot of messages, so just expl just maybe comment on, um, on, on my picture, uh, saying that, that it's about baby loss, and then I'll check my inbox for, for your message. Um, but yeah, I just want you to know that you are going to get through it and they are with you and you will feel strong enough one day. So keep going Um just, you know, look after yourself, exercise, spend time with friends, find a spiritual family, do whatever it is that makes you feel good, look after yourself, have therapy, speak to somebody, you know, go to your doctors, you're entitled to this therapy. You know, you know, if, if you can't work, you know, get it through your doctors. There's so much help out there. Please speak to people. You have to speak. It gets it out of your body. Talking gets it out of your body. Please do that. Please. Because you need to let it out and cry as much as you can. Cry as much as you can. Okay? There's nothing wrong with crying. That's why I think God gave us that way of releasing it out of our body and so many of us try to be strong especially men so if you're a man watching this even more so please cry and let yourself get upset because there's no shame in that at all in fact i think it's beautiful when men show their feelings so and that's how i really feel um so i hope this helped and um like i say you know you, you do, you will feel better one day, um, and it's different for everyone, so don't put, feel like you should be better by now, or, you know, and just see the positives um, in what's happened, and I know it's hard, and it's hard to, just to see the positives, but there are so many, and you are meant for something really great, okay, um, you know, the... <sighs> You know, the, the people who have the, the most amazing destinies have to work, walk the hardest roads sometimes. So, okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. I still don't know where to look because I'm like new to all the, uh, this YouTube thing. So I really hope um, you'll subscribe to my channel. There's going to be lots of different stuff on here. So it is going to be a bit of a mixed bag, which I know they tell you not to do, but I just want to talk about what's important to me. So I would appreciate if you did subscribe. Thank you. Bye.